Hello, my name is Ronald Foster, and I did this project with Jennifer Ars and Kevin Cassidy. So I'll just run the program. And you see we have uh, the main menu. There's a play, a set seed, a quit, and credits. The reason you could set the seed is because much like the game Minecraft, you actually get a random generated world if you hit play. But if you set the seed, you can get a guaranteed one. So I'll just hit play and get a random one. And I'll choose to play as the rhino. We start off in this room on the left. We have two strength, meaning your attacks are plus two damage, 70 health, and three mana. And these are the cards in our deck. So I'll go to this room first. You see it's a deer, he intends to block, so I'll just attack him. But first I'll do Harden Horn to gain strength, and I actually keep that forever. So now I just permanently gained another damage on all my attacks. So I'll go to the next one. This guy wants to attack me. How much is he hitting me for? 10. So if I just let this go and just attack him, I'll actually take 10 damage and go from 70 to 60. You see after using that card, my mana over here went down from 3 to 1. But I have one mana left. That's why this end turn button is still yellow. So I'll go ahead and use another card to gain 6 block. And now when he attacks me, my HP will go to 66. We'll see what I'm going to get next turn just out of curiosity. This is what's in my draw pile and I'll draw 5 of these next turn. These are the cards I just used. So I'll end my turn. And you see he only did 4 of the 10 damage he intended to do. I got three mana and a bunch of strength, so I'll attack him. This is a uh, elite combat. That's what these red rooms are. These ones are a bit harder. So he intends to attack me for 16, but I have a lot of strength now, so I'm just going to rush him down. You see, I used all three cards, so end turn turns green, letting me know that, hey, you got nothing left to do. Why don't, why don't you just go ahead and end your turn? Notice how every time I'm ending my turn, that's when he's actually doing stuff. So I have 30 for a health left. I could lose 30 HP here, or I could go around, because I ended up getting a bad a bad room. These, uh, these rooms are random. They're special rooms. But if you notice, I actually have this black room next, which is going to heal me up before the boss. So I'll just take 30 damage. And then now I fully restore my health, and we'll go fight the boss. Notice again, I have a lot of strength now, so I'm just going to rush this guy down. So, uh, what's he doing? He's calling henchmen. So, I'm actually glad they didn't kill him, so you can see this. Now there's another guy, and these guys are both trying to attack me. This one's going to use block now, but just uh, for safety, I'll just go ahead and beat this guy. Notice, I only have to beat the, the main guy. The other guy is optional. And the moment I beat the final boss... It actually recorded my time into a, this high score. And that's how long it took me to beat it, and that's my seed.